Hello, my name is Stefan. I'm a PM on the Remote Desktop Services team. Today, I would like to show you a demo of MSX Avatage. The way we're going to start this demo is by going into the Azure portal and opening the Windows Virtual Desktop interface. So here I've already walked in. I'm going to click on Windows Virtual Desktop. I'm going to select one of my host tools here that I have prepared for this demo. focus on the all nine host pool and you can see almost instantaneously the UI worlds and the new tab that we have added is MSX packages. So what we're going to do here is we're going to associate a set of packages with our host pool. There are already two packages here and you'll be saying like great what does that mean but when a package is associated with a host pool what we're going to observe is that if we do access that machine, we will see two entries in the disk management interface. Why two? Because we have two packages. And then the next question will be, well, that could be any machine. Indeed, let's go look at our host pool. And you can see that here that the name of the machine starts with stgeorgie109-0. And if we go into my virtual machine and we run the computer name command, we'll get the same name. Now, this is all great, but let's see what happens if we, de if we do add another package. So we're going to click Add here and we're going to get the Add MSX Package UI. So now what we need here and I've already done this step, is that our MSX package has been uploaded to the network share. So I'm just going to point to that network share by using the UNC path of the device. And when I say device, I mean the MSX image. Here is my path. And as soon as I click away, what is happening in the background is that the UI is reaching out to the agent that runs on the virtual machine asks that agent to go and mount the VHDX that we have pointed here, validates that the VHD contains mm -hmm. an accurate and properly formatted package, and furthermore, checks to make sure that we do have the right certificate. And in this case, all has been completed, and we can tell that by the fact that we have populated this dropdown with MSX packages. Now I'm going to make this package active as I want to be able to use it right away for my users. I'm going to click add. You can see the package has been added to my machine. Now if we go back into the VM and we um, wait here for about a minute because this is the polling interval, what we're going to see that our package will be mounted as a VHD here. So I'm going to refresh a couple of times until the change picks up. And here you can see that at one moment, as I was uh, too distracted refreshing, a new volume has appeared. Now that volume could be anything, but I do claim that this volume is exactly the one MSX image that we attached. And to confirm that, we click Detach VHD. And here you can see that it points to the same path that we provided in the UI. Excellent. So we've added a package to our host pool and that package has been staged. Now let's go and see the end user experience. Before we get there, we need to assign this package to an application group. And the way we're going to do that is by clicking on application groups. And here I've created two application groups of type desktop. And the one I'm particularly interested in is the first one. I'll click on it. And right now, if we go under applications, you can see that it only has the session desktop, which is the default behavior for Windows Virtual Desktop. Now let's go again and click add. And here you can see that as application source, it defaults to MSX package and I cannot select anything else because this is a remote desktop. Now, when I go into the MSX packages dropdown, you can see 
three options and these are the same three options that we have in the msx packages tab of the packages associated with the host group no surprise here so i'm going to select visual studio code i'm going to provide a, a descriptive name i'm going to click save now you might be thinking great let's go and sign in and see what the user gets no there's one more step i'm going to go ahead and assign some of our test users here now i could have assigned a group just i guess not being lazy today assign each user the command will complete and while that is happening you can see three users assigned perfect now we're going to open one of our uh, web clients and make sure that our users see the desktop application view. And I sign it here with my first user, uh, test user one. And you can see that in the feed, the user received a new desktop application group. We click on that one, we say allow. Since I don't have a single sign-on, I will be asked to provide my credentials one more time. I'm just gonna quickly go ahead, grab those from my cheat sheet and provide them here. And then the password for the user. Click submit. Now what is happening here is the WV orchestration where my user has been forwarded to a machine in my host pool. That machine has been assigned to the user. You can see the profile service hooking in, applying the settings. So this is the first time this user is on that machine. And we already say, so on that machine, we didn't have Visual Studio Code and we delivered it as an MSX package. So it got attached, but our admin user that was worked on that machine was not able to see it because remember, we gave the permissions only to the test users. Now here on the machine, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the start menu, I'm gonna type VSC, Visual Studio Code, you can see it comes up here right away. Now, during the packaging, I somehow broke the icon, so we'll ignore that for the moment. We'll start the application. And you can see that that application is behaving just like a traditionally installed Windows 32 application, but it's being delivered as MSX app attach on demand. And in this case, it's prompting me for some other stuff which I don't really care about. So here, new file. And just to make sure we are indeed on our machine, we'll come here, that's to Georgie. We'll right click on the taskbar, get the task manager, more details users and you can see test user one has been successfully connected and he does have visual studio code but yeah that was it msx app attach in action so just to recap we added the package we saw it dynamically being delivered then we we also observed that the admin that has not been given permission to the package was not able to see it all the application is on the machine and once the test user has been given permission that application appeared on their start menu without ever being installed, has been app attached. Thank you.